How do you uh, look at testing? Um, other countries, they have taken on testing. The nation itself, the country has taken on the testing. Here, we're letting the states take it on. Uh, why is that the best way to do it? And if somebody wants to get a test today, can they realistically get one? Well, David, there's no secret because I've been, I've been public about that early on with our testing capability. It was not really properly designed for what we had to deal with in such an acute way. And it, it actually did fail us early on. I've said that before, so I'm not creating any new, any new dialogue here. However, we have responded now in a very aggressive way and appropriately for the way our country is built. Namely, we have engaged the private sector, the big companies who know what they're doing, who do this for a living. And right now, over the past several weeks and into the future, the testing situation has improved very rapidly. Whether or not we're exactly where we want to be, that remains to be seen. I think we are either there, David, or getting very close to being there. Uh, yesterday, uh, the, th the, the, the plan that was rolled out was a blueprint for testing as we open America again. And the thing in that that's now different, and everyone should understand that, it is really a true partnership between the states and the federal government, where the implementation on the ground should be at the state level because they know what they're doing. But the federal government has a role in providing strategic direction and technical assistance. And that's something that wasn't fully in place early on, that right now there's a commitment of that partnership between the federal government being kind of the supplier of last resort, but also the group that allows the interaction with the state so that we can give them strategic direction and then let them do at the local level what they do very well. So I believe we are much, much better off now than we were several weeks ago. Are the, do the 